it's Gay and Carol back again with another video on our camper trailer. We're going to do a walkthrough around right, it. So in the toolbox area, we've got our firewood. We keep our firewood in here. We also keep our tent poles and our pegs, etc., ropes for the awning annex. We've also got some of our firewood stuff. Uh, so we keep heat beads in here if we're carrying them. We've got our spit that we carry. Basically anything to do with cooking on the fire, carrying firewood, keeping warm. We've also been carrying, uh, not a block of, of uh, wood, our, our fishing magnets. Oh, it's so caught something. It's caught something. I think it's a thingy it's for a us. It's a mozzie coil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> caught it again. Uh, now let's throw to Carol and she'll go over the battery and the gas bottles. Gay sort of covered it there. We've got a battery, <laughs> <laughs> just one battery, which runs uh, two 12 volt plugs. And in here we have one gas bottle, four and a half kilo at the moment. And normally there, there's one where we've got all that stuff thrown. But there is Toby's ball, one of six I think we've got in. But anyway, our pan and brush and stuff like that. So we've put another gas bottle in here and then we just fill it around with bits and bobs. Spare wheel for the camper trailer. It's a wheelie there, but anyway. <laughs> it's wheelie there. Yeah. It's a wheelie bin. It is. And that's for all our cans when we're... We did have a stock standard jockey wheel as most caravans a few years ago or camper trailers would have had a few years ago. And we did do, you know, the rookie thing of whoopsie daisy it broke and it and now we've got the arc stock standard 750 series we, we like it it's really nice and easy and it's got a different hitch on it so i don't know what do you call the hitch the Oz outback camper hitch it's really it, unique it's a, it's a it just has a pin go through yeah and it, it's four wheel drive so you can see it does a 360 doesn't at the moment because we've got our big security system on it <laughs> <laughs> next up that's the toolbox in the front end. Got a flap. No word. Not a word. <laughs> we've got a flap. And underneath the flap, we've got a window. To our bedroom. The yeah. Bedroom. Normally that would be open. The flap can go over. We keep it like this, so you can flick it up and over. And that's what happens when it packs up. Yeah, and if we've got the window open, it's actually really quite discreet in there. People really can't see a lot in there unless we've got it lit up like Jackie. Yeah. Or the MCG. This is rolled up. So this is the cover that goes over the whole lot of the camper camper trailer. We usually want roll it up and keep it here. A few times we do take it off, but majority of the time we roll it up. And roll it up backwards almost. So if we get any rain or dew on yeah. it, it's dry on the out it's wet on the outside, dry mm. underneath. So it's very easy. Up. Yeah, it's very easy to slide on and off too. It's like supervisor who got bitten by jumping jacks today, so he's a bit tender. Yeah, he's, he's right, been though. in the river though, so yeah. he's feeling a wee bit better. It, for those that don't know, that haven't seen the post, uh, we did lose Inky, went over the Rainbow Bridge a short time ago. So he's our only companion now when travelling. He's a solo dog, traveller. Our only child. What's that behind you? A window. So we had this window put in. Yes. It wasn't like that originally. I don't know. I can't remember if we mentioned it or not. But this We're mentioning it. <laughs> yeah. This window we did have put in. At the time we had it put in by Outback Campers. We've got a window. Window. Yep. Gay likes to peek out of that of a morning and see what's happening. Yeah, it's, you can see there's a little gap. Little normally gap. it's bigger. Yeah. It's normally bigger. Yeah. Yeah, stock standard wheels, off-road off wheels, yeah. and then... One by ten and a half, just so anyone cares. Yeah. Oh, another window. Oh, and another window. This is riveting. <laughs> and another another window. Yeah, we've put a tarp underneath. You can just see the remnants of the tarp. We generally put a tarp underneath just in case it rains or we're on something dirty. It just helps protect the bottom a little bit more. Is that a cricket on there? Jiminy. Jiminy cricket? Oh, oh, he flew no. off. He's shy, or camera jumped. shy. <laughs> flew off. Grew jumped. wings on his legs. <laughs> I'm around. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, look, a window. Yeah, this one's open. <laughs> bit of airflow to come in. Yeah, so right, pretty right. easy. They're just zips. Zips and a bit of hook and loop. Just so you know the pink tails, Carol's. Just so. <laughs> I like pink things. This awning. is our awning. We have had the annex on. I think we've got a video. I'm pretty sure we've got a video on that. I don't know what that is. 
Anyway, if anyone can get back to us, it looks like a any. dragonfly, a small dragonfly. Uh, it doesn't look like a dragonfly, but anyway. uh, okay. Uh, and this is yeah the area that we have. So we've got the green, what we call green carpet, green grass. Toby loves it. We've only got the three poles up for this trip because it's we check the winds. We don't have internet, but we check the winds, and it's not going to be that windy, so it's easier just to have the three poles up. Normally we would have three, four, five, six, seven poles in, and then you might have one wall up, which Carol might talk about with the. Kitchen. Kitchen. That's my so, area. Are you doing inside? <laughs> yeah, I can do it inside. This oh, is okay. welcome inside. Sacred site. <laughs> inside the lesbian flare. <laughs> Gay and Carol's. Gay and Carol's area. There's our bed. We've got a queen size bed with a king size doona. Gay what sort of mattress is it? It's a koala mattress. So it's really comfy and it's light. Yes. So it's good for travelling and it doesn't add any weight really to the thing. You can see our windows. Up the end there we've got just a cheap flip light from the wedding, just like five bucks, but it worked for three. My bedroom window, which is usually open to the gate stay in bed some morning and talk to me. Our 12 volt system is behind here. Or 12 volt, our 12 volt plug, we've got one there. You can see I've got a thing plugged into it at the moment. That's where we charge our phones and stuff in the night. Just a little bit of space down the side of each side of the bed where we put stuff. When we're travelling on Gay's side of the bed, so you know that sort of light that we're facing down this side, uh, that's where the camp holes is when we're travelling. Behind here you can see we've got press studs. So if I pull that open, let me just quickly do it. You can see in here is the back of the camper trailer. So if need be, I can get in there and usually what happens, I put all the bags and stuff like that in there so they're not in our area. Then we've got just this floor space. It's reasonably big and we can fit a lot of stuff in. it got a bit of reflection there. We do have a camp cupboard, but depending on where we're travelling and what we're doing, yeah, it just depends on how long hmm. we're going to be set up. Otherwise, we use suitcases. Yeah, suitcases on the floor. There's the poles for setting it up. They get tucked in, and then you've got a little step, and that's how we get in and out of bed. All right, I showed you our little dodgy light system, which gets plugged in. It works well. It does. It does exactly. We don't spend time in here. We're outdoor people. What about that dodgy light up there? Oh, you've already showed them that one. <laughs> I said it was romantic. Maybe not. <laughs> A little table set up which we just put junk on but I'll give you the tip um, we've had it for a good 10 years and it's done us well rightio my section kitchen it's a bit dirty this is our newer addition which is our knives and forks and everything like that we bought magnets from Bunnings as you can see hangs up there works a treat then we've got our hats they're mine that's gays and then our kitchen it's a stainless steel kitchen. We started with a wooden kitchen, it's heavier. When we had trouble, we had uh, leakage, which the wood got a bit swollen. So we ended up replacing it with a stainless steel one, which is fantastic. It's a lot lighter. We've got good space in it, it's full. Oh, look at jet boil. We've got our like camp oven in there at the moment, our travel buddy and pot, uh, pots and all sorts of stuff. And on this side, it's really crammed with just stuff that I use, but that all gets packed away for travel. Two burner gas which hooks into the back, sink full of dishes if anyone wants to come and do them. That's our water point, so that's where we put our water in. We've got, an, I think it's a 75 litre water tank underneath, just plastic poly with a metal thing. 75 or 80, we're not sure, we're not sure. So around about that. Between 75 and 80 litres. Yeah, that's sort of it. I don't know, does Gay want to say anything else? No, I think that's it. You can see all our stuff in the background. I think we've covered most of it. Nice one. Yes. Happy campers. Do you think we've covered most of it? Yeah, I don't think there's much left. Oh, actually, there is. I can stand and talk about this. So behind, actually, if you turn around, so up here you'll notice there's zips, and they go all around the inside of the annex. So we can put one wall up here, which sometimes we do to protect the kitchen, so especially if it's going wind. to be a bit breezy, so it stops the wind coming through. I think we've shown you our annex set up anyway, so you get the general... Where's your board? Because you use it... Oh, so this is what I normally do. I just put that there with a bottle of water behind it or something like that to hold it, and that works fine, unless the wind's coming from that way, and then we've I just sit at that side. We've been looking around at quite a few vans recently, more the hybrid vans, 
and we've noticed that most of the kitchens are pretty much the same where they come up and then they've got oops, oh, oh. and then they've got sides that yeah, are so attached should, yeah. onto the lid or what have you yeah so, so they fold out and they protect the side which yeah. is the future at the moment but it's well, not the long term future we don't think but that's another story we can talk about yeah that's in another video yeah. about where the where kitchens are going in the future uh, if you've got any comments or ask any questions do and if you've got any suggestions anything know, we can change chuck it down leave them in the comment Comments section please and oh thumbs up thumbs a big up. thumbs up yep and now for Toby, he wants two thumbs up because... He's a bit sad because he got a bit bitten sad. by Dalton Jackson. He's sad because yeah. his sister's not here. Yeah. Hey, little man. Mm. There you go, see? And that's it. That's from us. Thanks for watching.